Hello, everybody. Welcome to my show, Tech Take with Kai Qi. And、uh, today is、uh, episode six. We will still do、uh, blitz mode. Okay, so、uh, let's start.、Mm-hmm. And we still have fifteen minutes and、uh, start. Okay, so what、uh, fifteen minutes? Oh, okay, White played the Rook C six, and I have two. Two moves. King takes.、Uh, king takes. Definitely king takes because if rook takes c6, knight e5, and we will lose、uh, our rook. So next one, and we still waiting for white's move. Um, come on, make move. Oh, okay. White played queen d3 after、uh, exchange here. So should we exchange or not? Um, if we take the queen, rook takes, and、uh, if we do not take the queen, what should we do here? Probably we should play g4. I like this idea because queen takes g6, g takes f3 with a check. This is an intermediate move. So g4, oh, queen takes g6, pawn takes f3, uh, rook takes f3, and rook takes uh g6, rook takes f8. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, we have a bishop who can、uh, capture this guy. So、uh, g4 is correct. So let's move on. Next one. Um, waiting for white's move. A takes b4, and here we have a、uh, uh, rook takes d3. This is very obvious, but、uh, I believe we could go something like、uh, I I think knight h4 with a check. This is way better, I believe. So knight h4. Oh, it's wrong. So we should go rook a1. Ah,、uh, okay. Rook a1 is much better because rook takes h3, pawn takes h3 with a check, and、uh, no matter which piece takes on、uh, h3, we will capture the. Knight on e1, right? So、uh, rook takes a、uh, uh, rook goes to uh, uh, a1 is the best move.、Mm-hmm. If knight h4, king f1, I think, right? So、uh, rook a1 is the best because the knight has nowhere to go. For example, if knight goes to c2, we could go knight h4 with a checkmate. Okay, you got me. So we have a two correct and a one incorrect. We still have of thirteen、um, minutes. Okay, let's move on. We have this one, and、um, we play black. We play uh, uh, black. White played the knight e five. This is way easier. So rook ch- check, and no matter. Okay, king d six. We could go rook takes e five. King takes e five and knight d three. But if we go rook e five, he can go rook c seven with a check. So we have to play rook d five first, and the king c six. We just、uh, capture the knight here. Okay, so、uh, let's move on. Um, we have this position. Black to move. We play white. So king h4 obviously is the only idea for black. And the question is, what should they do here? Uh, I believe king g2 looks very tempting, but uh, black has a rook. Rook goes to uh, uh, rook go to f2 with a check. So I don't think king g2 works because the rook f2. So what should they do here? Rook e4 probably or rook e7. I'm not sure about this position. Or okay, I found another idea like、uh, bishop by five maybe. Uh huh. We still need a couple of uh, uh seconds to、uh, find out the answer here. Okay, somebody help me. I think. Uh, maybe rook e seven or rook d five. Okay, so let's just、uh, capture the pawn. Okay, so rook f one and、uh, just take it. Cause why not? Okay, so、uh, rook takes d one.、Uh, sorry, rook takes d five is the best move, because、uh, a pawn is a pawn, right? So after rook d five, we could go something like queen e four. We just、uh, eliminate this guy, and、uh, uh, our queen is able to、uh, place down、uh, e four. Okay, so this is a、uh, puzzle number five. Let's move on. We have this position. Why to move? And、uh, he played queen g five. In my opinion, we could go bishop takes the、uh, h2 and king h1, bishop g1. But、uh, white might play g3, just uh, easily uh, uh, block the diagonal. So why not bishop to、uh, f6? Oh, okay, I get wrong. Bishop takes c3. Whoa, this is so obvious. So, oh, okay, I was thinking about bishop f6 with the queen takes h2, but、uh, white can move his queen back. Queen f4, so、uh, that's so obvious. Bishop takes c3 is the move, because if pawn takes, we could go queen takes h2.、Uh, if he plays something else, we just win a free knight. Just move your bishop back. Okay, my bad. So let's move on. 
we have this one. Uh huh, and uh, it looks like uh, oh, wise king is very dangerous. So he played the rook takes on a two, and uh, black to move. What should we do here? Uh, I think we should manage to checkmate wise king because a uh, wise king looks very uh, ugly at least here. So uh, what should we do here? We have uh, three pieces plus the pawn on f5. We can uh, uh, pressure on the king on f2. So uh, we could just take the, or we should just take the rook here because after queen d8, I don't think white has a perpetual check, right? So just take it. Queen goes here and we just go queen e8 and there's no more um, check available after king takes e8. Okay, so uh, let's move on here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, uh, we played we play black and white played the queen f7. We have two rooks. And a knight versus a queen with uh, uh, four actual pawns. And uh, okay, white played the queen f7. What should we do here? Mm. So uh, white played queen f7. White might play queen d5. Nice to move. And uh, okay, so I think we sh because the g file has nothing. Let's just move our rook to d file, right? And uh, after rook d8, rook d2, we could just checkmate him. Okay, bishop c3, and uh, I would like to switch another rook to the d5 and uh, force him to play rook d2, and this is winning. Okay, rook d5, and I will win queen back. Good. So uh, we still have 8 minutes, 8 and a half. So uh, this is a uh, black to move. We played uh, white. Okay, so uh, black played uh, rook f8 to prevent rook f7. But uh, still, Black's king is pretty dangerous. I believe we could find a way to checkmate his king, or at least we win some material. Queen c3 definitely is a move. And after king g6, we could go rook g7, maybe king h5, and how can we just keep keep checking him or just win something here? Or we could go rook g7 first, just cut off his king. But I, I think this is too slow. Uh, I think this is oh, okay, but after rook g7, we could go queen e7. We already spent uh, um, 50 seconds, or not 50, 40 seconds on this position. So, what should we do? Come on, come on. Just check king g6, queen g7. I don't think it works. Maybe rook g7, but uh, still. Yeah, let's go rook g7. Ah, oh, I got it wrong. Rook h7, seriously. Why rook h7? I cannot understand. So yeah, probably uh my idea was rook g7, but the correct answer is rook h7. Yes, he wants to use uh g7 square for the queen, right? Queen g7 is coming, and uh, there's no too many moves for black to block the to prevent a white's idea. For example, if queen goes here, and uh, we could go uh, maybe queen goes uh, I don't know maybe c5, maybe c3. Right, so or queen e7, queen e7, king e5. I feel confused about this position, queen. But uh, um, I think at least the white can win this position by uh, maybe just play queen c3. That's that's all enough, right? Maybe just here, and uh, for example, king goes here, just rook g7. Right, rook g7, queen f6. I don't know, maybe here. Queen e5. Or we can just move our rook away because the queen on g6 is so bad. Okay, so let's move on. This is uh, question number uh, 9. And uh, we played black. We played black. And white move. White played e3 to consolidate his position. And uh, <laughs> okay, so I don't I don't quite understand. I don't know why he didn't play rook e7. This is a free queen, but uh, okay. So he played e3 for some reason. And uh, our turn here. Knight d3 looks very uh, natural, right? And then knight d7, knight c5. So just take it, knight d7, knight c5, bishop g7. And uh, we could go king g7. But uh, I think knight d7 is the best move because uh, there's no knight c5 after that. Okay, so 10 already. We play black. We have uh, 5 minutes. So we're still waiting. Okay, rook h8. There's only one move possible for me. King d7 and the queen takes e7. Seriously. After king takes uh, e7, rook h7, king goes anywhere, rook takes e7. 
So why not just move king to c6 and uh, rook c7 maybe? Okay, let's just take it. Let's just take it and uh, let's just move our king to f8 to defend the uh, g7 pawn. After this, we could go bishop takes d1. Thanks for our bishop who captured uh, on the rook. Okay, so we have this one. We played. We play white. It seems like oh rook e2. Uh, black one takes risk and uh, he want he wants attack on g2. So uh, white move. We have to checkmate him first. Otherwise, he will checkmate us. Okay, so rook e2 and uh, what should we do? So it seems like black has a big hole through the diagonal from a1 to h8. But if we go something like queen f6, he might go uh, uh, rook g2 and um, he checkmate us first. So what should we do here? Mm, maybe just check him. Like, uh, oh, okay, queen d8 and queen d4. That's, that's, that's good enough, right? That's good enough. If king h, oops, why not? Rook a8, king h7 and queen b8. Whoa. Oh, brilliant! Rook g2 and king h1. There's no rook h2, so uh, queen goes here. We could go king takes g2, and there's no perpetual check for black. And uh, after rook e2, if we, what's what's wrong with my idea? My idea was queen d8, and uh, if for king h7, ah, oh, we cannot go rook takes f7 because the queen is here. I missed this idea, right? So okay, so rook a rook a8, king goes anywhere, and. Uh, Oh, okay, king goes to h7 and queen b8 is the idea. Okay, so let's move on. We have uh, three minutes left. Okay, black, white to move. We're still waiting. Okay, knight e5. I think queen f3 is pretty strong. After knight takes, knight takes, queen goes to c3 and d4, we will knight. Because rook takes e5, queen d4, there's nothing for black. Let's try this one. I like this idea. Oh, come on, why? It's incorrect again. So if... Okay, the answer is rook takes h2, king, ta king takes h2, and uh, I don't know what should we do. Maybe just a queen h5 and win the knight back. So king goes here. Oh, okay. So queen h3, king goes g1, and knight e2 checkmate. And uh, after queen h5, if king goes here, knight e2. Again, okay, so uh, rook h2 is pretty strong, and uh, no matter uh, what is the uh, wise reaction, we will win the game. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to next one. We have this one, we play black. Seems like white is attacking our king right now. Rook h3, so what should we do here? Maybe just, uh, okay, so white is threatening to play rook takes h5. And uh, how can we just uh, fix this problem? Maybe queen c6 or rook takes e4. Rook takes e4 is too risky, I think. Maybe just a queen c6. And rook takes h5, rook takes e4, we at least have some uh, uh, counter plays. So, oh, come on, <laughs> what happened today? So, queen c6 is not a move, rook takes e4 first, obviously. Rook, if rook takes e4, what should we do? Maybe just a queen, queen c6 here, right? And uh, if queen move back, we could go knight takes f6, and we will capture the rook back. But, uh, okay, so what's wrong with my move? I think queen c6 is, oh, okay, but actually it doesn't work. Because h, rook takes h5, rook takes e4, and here he might play a rook goes to h8, and after king takes, queen goes h6, king g8, and queen g7. Okay, so uh, white checkmate has first. So that's, uh, that's not good for us. So rook takes four, e4 is good. Because after rook takes e4, queen c6, there's no uh, forcing bait, and we could go queen takes e4, and uh, this is just a fight for us. Okay, so let's move on. And we have one minute. Okay, we have this position. White move, and we don't uh, queen. I've takes e4, and uh, rook, takes, rook a1 doesn't work because queen takes a1, and uh, okay, so I prefer d takes e. D takes E is good because we open up the 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 D five for our C H rook queen B six and we just oh my gosh what happened rook D A doesn't work why rook D A rook D A if king E two rook D two king E one rook goes here 
it goes to a1 oh, but maybe this is stronger this is stronger king e2 and we have this one here d2 king goes anywhere we just craft this guy but so what's wrong with my move i think my move is better it goes here and uh, there's no uh, good move available for uh, white maybe just a queen d8 but i think rook d8 is nothing wrong king e2 rook d2 and we check me okay so the Time is up. Okay, so uh, today we have uh, eight cracked and seven incorrect. Mm, this is a uh, blitz mode, right? It's, uh, everything happens so fast. And uh, okay, so uh, I uh, hopefully, you guys, you enjoyed the show as much as I did. And uh, see you next. Uh, uh, see you next show. Bye bye. See you. Thank you for watching.